We're here at One Twin Pine Road in Sea Pines and really nice, nice yard, nice front yard. It sits back in off, off the street and well protected really from uh, Plantation Drive. We shall look at the house from the outside, of course, two car garage, plenty of parking out here. I mean, just an abundance of, of parking out out here and you really feel nice and nice and private and quite honestly that the, the road noise is uh, is not bad we'll go out back and see how it feels in just a bit um, the home is is an old stucco um, so we have a couple things going on here that would probably get caught by a home inspection uh, you come into this brick floor entry little Ooh. coat closet over on the side and stairs going up they've opened it, it up quite a bit I think um, over time let's go into the kitchen first on the left nice nice size kitchen looks like they either took a door out or they're missing a door here if you wanted to lighten it up I think these cabinets could be painted this goes out to the little little front landing gas cooktop which is nice and then the microwave and and oven there have hardwood floors in the, the kitchen and then a little keeping room of sorts off of the kitchen you can see that they've opened this up at some point to uh, be able to take in the view and to be connected to this family room space, which is nice. Coming around this way, we go come into a big dining area, and then this swings around into, into this living space. The living space is, is a little, little tight, um, to be honest, you know, that you have this overhang and relatively small couch. I think maybe you could maybe you could rearrange this room to some degree, but it is relatively narrow across here. Um, but I do think there you could probably do a sectional. There are things that, that you could could probably do to to help with that a bit. Um, and then out this way, of course, you can go out to the pool here, or you have a nice screened-in porch over here. With a view of, of the golf course. And actually a nice view of the green right over here. Good sized backyard set back. I do think you're going to get people stopping here in the, their golf carts going to the green. I would say that that is probably a, a good possibility. Uh, the pool looks okay. Probably needs to be resurfaced at some point. Um, just a little spot here and there. But it, it looks to be in, in good condition. The railings over here probably are going to need a little bit of upkeep over time. Now you do hear the, that that road noise when you're when you're outside here. But I do think when you're out by the pool, this is going to help buffer from buffer things. So let's keep exploring here. There's a, it's it's a, interesting. So you come over here and you have a stacked washer and dryer. Um, you have a half bath in here, like the moat around the side, vanity, and then this room, you come in from, from the garage, they, as a rental, they must have let the kid, you know, have this set up for kids off of the, that one is locked, off of the garage, and then, let's go this way. And go up the spiral staircase and see where this takes us. I have not been up here, so we'll go explore this together. 
So you have a room over the garage with a little step down. That's for the fan. And also a full bath up here. So this looks out to the front. And then you come around this way. Ceilings are all smoothed out up here and throughout the home. So this could be, this has a soaking tub in it. So this could be an upstairs master or they have it set up with the, with the double beds. Another king bedroom. This is a nice size room. Probably would replace the carpet. This bath is a little bit more cramped, um, but certainly works with a, this has a tub shower unit. And this is lovely up here. Looks like they have a little stain over there on the ceiling near the uh, fire, or near the chimney. So that may need some attention. And then this comes back around and down into the foyer. So we saw three bedrooms upstairs. Kitchen's over here, of course, front door here, kitchen, family room. And then they have this set up as, as a bunk room I might want to do this as a, I don't know. I don't know if I'd do that as a bunk room. But this to me is more the master, but it is connected to this room. So, I don't know, we'll have to, they, they have a separate heating and cooling system in here. A little bit of tape coming apart. Here they have the mini split in here. This is all closet. in here, so huge, huge amount of closet space. And then back in here you have another closet. Another closet here, another closet here. And then the master bath and shower. Probably need some work in there too. And then a, a soaking tub with, uh, with jets. So this is, this is a, little, a little funky. Master bedroom of sorts. Let's see how this feels with the... Okay, maybe not. Um, I was thinking I'd love to see how this feels. It, it, it just feels very closed off in this room. Um, I was trying to see how it would feel if those blinds were up, but that may have to be for another day. But so here's a, I mean, this is, hopefully this gives you a sense for, for the look and feel of this home. And um, I will talk to you soon. I'm going to get out of the rain here.